Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a quick overview of my Ivy Bridge Hackintosh for 2013. Um, now, I've basically just done a couple of upgrades uh, and I thought it'd be time to update you from the, uh, the computer build video that I did, so you can click anywhere on the screen uh, to go and view that now. Uh, and that was a couple of snippets from basically some of the CPU and sort of the memory, test boot and everything like that, to actually a view of the case before uh, any upgrades at all. So. Starting off with the motherboard, it's a Gigabyte Z77X UD5H motherboard. Um, I bought it mainly because it was the best motherboard at the time, um, and the most expensive, I'll, I'll add to that, um, motherboard that worked with um, Mac OS X uh, Mountain Lion, uh, and to be hackatoshable, so that's why I bought this one. Um, the processor is a 3570K. I was going to go for the 3770K, but I needed uh, this motherboard so I can really get pushed up further. Um, we have 8 gigs of Kingston HyperX 1600. Um, we have a HIS Radeon uh, 6870 because it was the best AMD, uh, it is the best AMD graphics card you can get um, for OS X, but I'm getting a GTX 670 soon, so that'd be a whole different video. Uh, it's all powered by an AX750 watt. The, the 3570K is overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz uh, on 1.27 volts. Uh, cooled by a Corsair H100i um, with SP120 Quiet Edition fans, uh, and they are running at their quietest, and they push quite a bit of air, and there's a bit of dust on the uh, the fan blades, but still, I'll clean them off soon. Uh, this is all in a Cooler Master Half X, uh, so you're actually sitting on the window right now because this is my bed. It's kind of a ghetto setup going on here. Um, in terms of hard drives, um, we have a. Uh, OCC Vector 128GB um, SSD, basically one of the best um, consumer SSDs you can get. A 500GB Hitachi 7200RPM um, 7, uh, 7, drive that has Windows 7 um, on there. Ultimate 64 bit, I actually have bought that. Um, I need to reactivate it. We have um, an, a Western Digital Caviar Green 1TB, um, this is last year's model. We have a Western Digital Caviar Green 2TB ERX drive, so this, that's this year's model. Um, and I actually have another 2TB I still haven't put in, I really should do that. Um, and I have a optical drive thing here, uh, which I don't really use anymore. Um, I only use that for assorting games I still have on disc, like The Sims and all that. Um, and uh, a little uh, laptop Blu-ray drive in there, which is pretty cool. So, um, this machine is Hackintosh, like I said, hence the title. Uh, Ivory Bridge uh, Hackintosh 2013. Um, it runs completely smoothly. I've had zero kernel panics um, when I haven't been trying to overclock further than 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, so nothing of the Hackintosh's fault. It's running completely stable. Let me just get that dust off there because there's no um, there's no filter on the front of this intake. <laughs> um, but it's been running completely stable. <clears throat> no kernel panics whatsoever. And it's running literally sort of as safe as my uh, my real iMac 27 inch, which is down here, that just died on me. So um, it's really impressed me so far. The performance at like 14,000 score on Geekbench. Uh, that's at 2,000 megahertz on the RAM and 4.5 gigahertz um, on the uh, 3570K with the H100i. I've only just whacked in my OCZ Vector 128 gigabyte SSD. So. Look for that video, it should be about here, or it should be the whole screen if you want to go and look at an OCZ uh, Vector SSD uh, unboxing and a couple of speed tests. Um, in terms of multi-beast, I'll leave a link in the description for the thread that I used uh, for the multi-beast multi settings. All you, do in, um, all you do in the BIOS is select um, Apply uh, Optimize Default, so that will change everything to AHCI mode and all that jazz. Um, and then you go into multi-beast and put in the settings for the thread that I'll leave in the description. So it's a pretty easy build. I'm pretty impressed by it. It cost me about a thousand pounds altogether now. But if I was to buy the, build this machine with the same Geekbench score from Apple with a three terabyte fusion drive, it would cost me about two and a half grand. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in building something like this, please leave me a pre, uh, send me a PM or leave a comment, uh, and I'll actually help you in any way, shape, or form you want. If you want to build a Hackintosh for a certain price, I'll give you all of the components. Uh, to build that. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like um, if you enjoyed it, uh, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.